Hello, Irene Belinsky here with Remax, IreneBelinsky.com. Today I'd like to talk to you about people that are downsizing from, you know, the bigger homes, uh, the four bedroom homes, the three bedroom homes, and they're looking to maybe move into a condominium unit or maybe into a bungalow. So these are the things that they have to decide upon. Now, when you're moving from a huge house, uh, do not downsize too much because you might feel claustrophobic. I know it happened to me. We had a big house, we sold it, bought it, uh, a detached uh, bungalow, and I just found it too claustrophobic. So we sold that one, bought a bigger bungalow, and now I'm happy, which is very, very important. But anyhow, uh, so one of the things you have to decide when you're downsizing is what are you going to do with all your stuff? Do you have children that would take some of it? Do you have friends that you want to give it to? Do you want to put it all in Kijiji and try and sell it? Uh, you can call someone uh, to come in and give you an evaluation, maybe have an auction. Those are all ideas. But remember, if you have like four sets of dishes right now, that's great because you have the space, but then you won't have as much space. So would you be okay with one or maybe two? Uh, the glassware, the knives, the cutlery, that type of thing. Even, you know, Tupperware or storage containers. We always have too much of that. Uh, you might not end up with a basement if you're going to a condo unit. Uh, so what are you going to do with all the stuff down there, uh, all the stuff in your garage? Um, so those are things that you must think about and make lists. Just keep on making lists of things. I have a client that has decided to move and they have a binder. And each room, there's a page for each room, what they're keeping and what they're getting rid of. So they're, they're very detailed people, so I, it's going to be great by the time they, they're ready to sell, which will be next spring, uh, the house will be staged for you know, visitors. Uh, some people ask me, should I sell my home first and then buy, or should I buy and then sell my house? It all depends on your financial situation. If you could afford to buy a house and move in with the furniture that you're taking with you and settled in there and leave the rest in the house that you will be selling. So if you can afford to do that, then I would think that would be less stressful for your for yourselves. If you can't, then you know you can be uh, your house can be on the market and we can look at uh, potential um, options at the same time. So for more information, if you want me to help you with your lists, give me a call at 613-858-1151 or you can always text me. Looking forward to hearing from you.